Hey Annihilators, this arrow wants me to go upward and slightly to the right. Not seeing anything up there, so I'm gonna keep going straight. Thomas out. Hey Annihilators, it's just some cool scenery out here. So, thought you might want to see. Pretty cool stuff. It's actually kind of a big drop off over there. Not really sure what that's about. Oh, I remember this. I'll keep filming because this is kind of the death doom drop here. Yeah. It's kind of a cool natural land bridge. It goes out across nothing. Either side, certain oblivion. Not the game though, which I never actually played. I only played um, Skyrim, so anyway. Speaking of Skyrim, very Skyrim-esque out here. So here's a cliff. I'm not sure how far down that looks to the camera, but to human eyes, that looks very far down. I'm gonna go to the other side. Have anything to say about this magnificent place, Sandra? I told you it was here. Right. So she told me it was here. Was it worth walking for two hours to get to? Probably not. not two hours. It was not two hours. It was three. It's three hours. I kind of want to climb that. I probably wouldn't be able to get back up. I shouldn't. So I won't. Um, cool place though. So hope you're enjoying seeing this. Yeah. I think this is actually concrete. Doesn't seem like real rocks. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Must be drinky drink snack time. Oh well, I guess I'll stop recording so you guys don't get bored. Thomas out. So hey Annihilators, I found another cool cliff face. Um, and I'm going to use rule number one of being up high next to a place that you can fall off of. Move slow and move low. But kind of cool. Thomas. Fun fact, this area is probably the most likely area in Florida to find deadly snakes. So, keep an eye out. All of us. Me, Sandra, Annihilators. You never know what you might see. Or what might see you. Not to say that uh, venomous snakes are particularly vicious or anything, but you still don't want to get bit by one. And the easiest way to get bit by one is to step on one, so. Do you have anything to add, Mountain? No. The Mountain does not speak. Thomas out. Just another cool view annihilators. Kind of rocky, kind of cliffy. Yeah, Thomas. So hey, here's a holy rock up close. Not to say that it has any inherent spiritual powers, but um, it might. So since I'm looking for magical powers, um, giant, magical, potentially magical rock, imbue me with your power. Uh, maybe I should go like the He-Man route. I have the power! It didn't work. It was worth a try. Your hand in the hall. That seems like a terrible idea. I'll put my hand on the stone and say it. I have the power! No, I don't. I don't have any more power. So, could be a failed mission. I'll keep you updated. Thomas out. Somewhat creepy forest full of burnt pine trees. Even creepier, Sandra. Thomas out. Hey Annihilators, just checking in. It's been a while. We're back in the woods. Um, cool scenery. Not a lot going on. Just kind of trying to get back now. We are trying to get back, right? It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. But, uh, 
just enjoying a walk in the woods with perilous ravines to either side. Thomas out. Oh my god! A wild porta potty appeared. Dun 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 dun. What? It, it's it's a porta potty. Be amused. Thomas out. Okay, annihilators. We're walking through a trench that could quite possibly have orc archers on either side of it, ready to surround us and impale us with thousands of arrows. They will blacken the skies with arrows, and so we'll fight in the shade. Or, you know, annihilate in the shade. But pretty cool path, if you're into ambushes, or just bushes in general, I guess. Kind of big, kind of cool. All right, I guess I'm running out of time, so uh, Thomas out. Might change the SD card. Anyway, Thomas out. So just a really cool place. And I mean cool, literally, like the temperatures lower down here. It's pretty quiet except for me talking. I don't know, neat place. Lots of ferns. And trees. And squirrels. Squirrels everywhere. They're stalking us. I think they're getting ready to ambush us. Like those works I was talking about. Except they're tiny. You can never stop an army of squirrels. Ever. Right, I've got a brand new SD card in, and that is a long way down. Not sure if you can see that in the super synthetic 3D, but uh, anyone who fell down there would die. Like this person here, just gonna... <laughs> I'm kidding, that would be attempted homicide on YouTube. And she has the keys, <laughs> so I wouldn't kill her yet. Uh, Thomas. I heard a noise in the underbrush. He's right in here. Do you see what it was? Not you, camera, you, Sandra. It's kind of loud for a lizard. Yeah, they can be loud. Well, I guess nothing exciting. Thomas out. Hey there, Annihilators. So we may not have found magic or superpowers yet, but check this out. It's a field of mysterious red flowers on the top of a hill. So that's cool. Lots and lots of them. And Sandra is having some trouble keeping up. That's why you have to drink sports drinks before leaving. Or soft drinks for that matter. Anything with enough juice to keep you going. Unlike Sandra, who drinks water. <laughs> also seems to be a little displeased. Thomas out. So I kind of think this bench is poorly designed, considering that my feet do not touch the ground at all. Just kind of swinging down there. Like, let me show you how tall this bench is. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Really? Did they make it for Michael Jordan? I have no idea. Thomas out. So, Annihilators, sad news. Steve's head has been eaten by a tree. Goodbye, Steve. We'll miss you. All right, Annihilators. I promised you every bridge, and every bridge you will have. No matter how silly, and unimpressive. Those roots are impressive though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Sandra's on a bridge. 
Oh, that seems cool over there. One sec. Have to be like the spastic chihuahua and check out everything. Well, if nothing else, it's the cool sound. Okay, bridge crossing time. Also, I think we've gone from Kashak to, or Kashik? I still, you guys have to tell me how it's pronounced. To Alderaan. It's very alderaan -y out here now. It's the name of the planet with Yoda on it, isn't it? Oh well. Oh, look, another bridge. Double bridge action. Are we not going that way? Because that's blue and that's orange. Okay, but you still saw this bridge, Annihilators. Also, look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? Whole place is beautiful. All right, gonna keep walking. Tell us out. Quick update, Annihilators. We are trying to find a waterfall out here. I think you guys would really like to see it. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna save as much time as I can for when we get there. And I go behind the waterfall and find treasure. Because there's always treasure or a hidden passage or something behind waterfalls. You know these things respawn. Somebody could have like gotten the treasure last time and I had to wait for it to respawn. How these things work, Sandra? Have you never played an RPG? Because you know you have. And you know that's how these things work. Hey, it's a bridge again. So check it out, guys. Bridge O Vision. Okay, saving time. Thomas out. Hey, Annihilators. Still in search of the waterfall. Um, scenery is about the same. Very pretty, though, because it's sunset. And we've been out here for around three hours now. So, we're still gonna find it, though. We're not giving up. Um, gonna save time for when we do find it. Thomas out. So hey Annihilators, we've made it, but it's a little unimpressive right now. Um, just because there's not a lot of water running through because it hasn't rained in a while. But don't worry, I'm gonna go down there and explore, and you're coming with me. Thomas out. Actually, you should see the dramatic descent down into the uh, heart of the beast just because I'm probably going to fall or slide at some point. And that'll be interesting. And I know, if I say that'll be interesting, or so that's interesting, one more time, you'll shoot me. But no, this is actually pretty cool. Looking for water moccasins first. Um, not seeing any. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any treasure either, really. But that's some pretty cool stuff. It's like a root column that's going on there. Moss and roots going out of it. It's pretty awesome. And it's a lot cooler down here, too. So, that's something. I guess there's nothing more to see, really. So I'm gonna climb back up. Up is always so much easier than down. What's over there? A black cat? Caterpillar. Black caterpillar. Right here. right here. Look guys, it's a black caterpillar. And some inscriptions on a tree proclaiming everlasting love for a lot of people who probably broke up and have unwanted children. Did I say unwanted? I said unloved. Oh, that was harsh. Thomas asked. By the way, Annihilators, we are on the way back for real this time. So, it's the journey home. And, uh, we're also in search of Spock. No, we're not. Thomas out. So, hey, Annihilators, I just realized that this is the perfect place for some Skyrim shouting. You ready for this? Force! Force Rhoda! Awesome, right? Thomas out.